Tell us why you're supporting Boris. Well, I think Boris is a very capable individual. He's enormously charismatic. Uh, and he is setting out a vision for Brexit that delivers on what people voted for. And I think that's the key, that Chequers doesn't do that. Chequers leads us subject effectively to the acqui communautaire and by second degree to the European Court of Justice. Right, so Chequers is Theresa May's plan. Uh, that's, right, the, that's right, that's right. Boris Johnson is a man who says women in burqas look like letterboxes and Theresa May put a suicide jacket around Britain. That's fine with you, is it? Well, the suicide comment, I was slightly surprised the classical scholar that he is didn't say that it was like Socrates drinking hemlock, which may have been um, a more genteel <laughs> it might, it might uh, not comparison. Have offended, it might not have um, offended as many soldiers. Well, I, I think the willingness to take offence is something in society that we have to uh, think about quite seriously because there does seem to be a willingness to take offence at almost everything. And I don't think either of those phrases that you quoted was one where people should have taken offence. Okay. It was a colourful phrase used by a charismatic figure. And I think we don't want to have entirely bland politics where nobody's ever allowed to use a colourful phrase. There's another part of this that might be troubling you, Jacob, which is the papers today saying that Boris's wife is, is telling friends he, she thinks he may have had as many as 10 affairs. So we're losing count slightly here, but that's fine with you as well, is it? Well, judge not that you be not judged, that it's not for me to judge other people's private lives, um, uh, and that it's really a private matter between uh, Boris and his wife and family. And but for you, them, you famously it, it, said that you oppose uh, abortions being given to women who were the victim of rape because of your Christian values. That's a matter of when life starts. When do you believe life starts? If it starts at the point of conception, as soon as a conception has taken place, there are two lives that you have to consider rather than just the one. How people behave within their private lives is a matter for them. That's very different from is the it, creation well, on, of We're life. talking about Christian values here. I just, thought, I, I just thought you'd say, Boris, come on, you can't have ten affairs. We're, You've been campaigning on this. We're, I'm, not, I'm not campaigning for a religious revival in the United Kingdom. That that's a matter for His Grace the Archbishop of Canterbury. If he wants to do that, I think that would be a splendid thing for him to do. Um, though he seems more interested in economic policy nowadays, but leave that. But to opposing one side. abortion after rape um, or inter it says, sounds like you are. Uh, no, I'm expressing a view when asked in terms of the teaching of the Catholic Church about when life starts, and when life starts is fundamental, is of the greatest importance. That if life starts at the point of conception, yeah, which is. Uh, we're sort of talking about Boris Johnson's character here, no, no, and whether or well, it's. I'm just. I, what I'm it, suggesting you're, you're is that maybe it. you don't condemn him because although you don't like his behaviour, it's convenient for you, Jacob. Oh no, no, no! no. Because you like his views on Brexit. It's not for me to condemn people. So um, <laughs> you're happy for him to become prime minister. He's been sacked twice for lying, conspired to get a journalist beaten up. And you'd be behind him, would you? Well, what, is, what is this sack twice for life? Well, by Michael Howard when he was a conser yes, conservative yes. front bench and from the Times. Oh, from the making up quotes. Times, because the quotes weren't entirely yeah. accurate. I, if entirely every, accurate it, made them up. If, if, they were well, Kevin, if, if every journalist who had um, put an inaccurate quote in was fired, there wouldn't be many journalists left. So often this is very helpful. So, I'd say are you giving him a clean pass on it? Making up quotes. They make no, no, much, no, no, much no, better. Are, are you quiet. seriously no, no, no. giving him a clean pass? Because, Jacob, you're, you yes. do campaign in a different way from other politicians. You are a bit different. You do talk about uh, Christian values. You are. I can't believe you don't say to Boris, clean up your act if you want to be prime minister. No, I, I think people are individuals and they behave in different ways. An MP in the 16th century went for pri to prison the Tower of London for saying, none is without fault, no, not our gracious queen. And that um, so upset the House of Commons. They thought Elizabeth I would have her nose put out of joint that he got put in the Tower by the House of Commons itself, not actually by the queen. And I think that point, none is without fault, is one that we should always remember and that it's wrong to be as judgmental as you're asking me to be. That doesn't mean you can't set out that there are things that are right and wrong, but it's then very different to say... The trouble is, Jacob, I'm it, with all respect, it person. feels like you cherry-pick aspects of faith to use as a, as a screen, as a filter, for views that maybe some you find palatable, some you find unpalatable. And I don't understand, as I'm sure many people in my position don't, why it's okay to put your weight behind Boris Johnson, who has lied, who is a philanderer, who has broken the sacrament of marriage, which I'm sure you would agree is a sacrament spoken in a church in front of God. Um, that for you is okay because maybe you share a common political view, whereas actually something like abortion, which I'm sure I speak for many women who cannot 
tell you the fury they feel mm. at that view that you hold, religious or otherwise. And I don't know if you've ever spoken to a woman who has been raped, who is a victim of incest, but I can tell you that abortion, being denied that when already going through something that is so very, very painful, just about is the worst thing you mm. can imagine. That's not a question of not being sympathetic in those circumstances. It's a question of the second life and that it is not right to take life. And life but is... That is your, why not apply your... that to Boris's private life? But, but we're not talking about the taking of life. And we're talking about... We're talking about, about sacrament. We're talking Whoa. about okay. faith. Hey, Kevin, Kevin. Kevin. But it's, it's an obligation to go to church on Sunday in the teaching of the Catholic Church. I'm not going to criticise every politician who doesn't go to Mass on J Sunday. J These things are, are different. And it's, I think you're also um, confusing the general pr principle and condemning individuals. Just, just before Kevin... It is Kev not for okay. me to condemn individuals. Just before it Kevin comes in. It is reasonable to set out the general principle. OK, before Kevin comes in, just one more on Boris, which is this. I isn't he too chaotic to lead the country? Isn't he too untidy? Isn't that the bigger issue here? He can't do the job because he'd mess it up. Well, th th this is... Um, a sort of very grandmotherly comment, if I may say so, that if he had a nice haircut, a good short back and sides, he'd be absolutely the chap to do it. But that because his hair's a bit tousled, uh, that's not, not quite the thing. It's nothing to and, do with his hair, it's to um, a trust. I, and, well, no, the question I was asked about organisation, hold it, same, that's what I'm answering. And no, I think when he was Mayor of London, he managed to show that he was very capable of running a major city. And he did it extremely well because he had the good sense to appoint people round him to run things, uh, and he was... Uh, like, Aha, Chancellor, I'm thinking. Like, like, like Ronald Reagan, he saw that if you set out the big picture, you can appoint good people to do the detailed okay. work. Kevin, and I mean, that's his the, position. The truth on London is he inherited a lot of good projects from Ken Livingston. But look, it, it, you have your fundamental beliefs. It's fundamental to me that if a, if a schoolgirl was raped by her father, she should be able to have an abortion without somebody judging her and say, saying it's wrong. But you, the, the amount of time and excuses you make for Boris Johnson, he was sacked twice for lying. That's quite right. I, and I'm no bishop about the affairs, but you have a very strong view on abortion and marriage. One of his mistresses had an abortion. Now, again, you just wipe it clean for him. You sponge it out. What makes him so special? Uh, it, Do you old Etonians just stick together no, all the time? No, I think you're misunderstanding the fundamental point, which I made at the very beginning, that it is not for me to judge, that it is perfectly reasonable to set out that there are these general principles that are teachings of the Catholic Church, which I hold to. But you are judging. No, I'm, I'm not, actually. That, that, that's making a leap in logic. I am saying that this is the teaching of the church. And I think the matter of life is of fundamental importance. But I have never said of any individual, Boris or anybody else, that I think that person leads his or her life in a correct or incorrect way. That is not for me to say. That is for a higher authority okay. to judge. Okay, Jacob, um, one, one way of rerouting this whole Boris problem, if that's what it is, is, is that you just say you should be prime minister. Well, I thought you were saying Kevin should be. Well, that was. Thank you very much. I was very yeah. keen on that. No, so but, I, I, but listen, just just do it because you've got. Kevin will know because he's in the House of Commons the whole time. A lot of supporters in there who might well rather you did it, particularly after the week that Boris has had. I'm a backbench Tory MP. For now, I, I've never held any office. Um, I don't think this is realistic. Really? Really? You're not ruling it out. I, it's not what is going to happen. Um, my ambition, I have one ambition. My ambition is that Brexit should be delivered properly. And that is what everything I'm doing is about. It's about ensuring that the country gets what it voted for. And it is not about me as an individual or any role I may or may not hold. Okay. And I want to see that happen. I want to see it happen on the 29th of March next year.